Because my opinion and nothing else matters, I'm thinking that we have a retooled somber song juxtaposed over a scene of absolute carnage cliché. Especially sinful when Stranger Things already did it better without losing the metal vibes and with an objectively superior Metallica song. Yes, objectively. I heard what I said. I'm with the trustees, we're all in sync. I don't know, seems like a weird time to tell Ashley that your trustees consist of a 90s boy band, Dean and Dira. Oh, a bi-gender Asian with pronoun f**kery. Great f**king idea, Kyle. Try selling that to Dallas and Fort Lauderdale. This not being an exaggeration. You're sweet, but this is my fault. It is not. And being a self-loathing grief hoarder is not the endearing trait that TV shows seem to think it is. It's annoying. Stop it. It's the first day tomorrow. Hey, I don't care how crazy the boys averse is, if someone kills a f**king teacher and then proceeds to scatter themselves across the school courtyard via fireball, I think classes are going to be pushed back a day or, you know, an entire semester. My friend, Marie Moreau, say what's up. Who are you? Oh, come on, man. I'm, I'm live here. Well, that's on you, dude. There's zero reason for this video to be live. Just film what you can and deep fake the rest later like a real influencer, you clout-mongering fame goblin. This is a ridiculous place to put your skateboard. You'd have to move the guitar whenever you want to get to it or awkwardly pivot it behind the guitar to, is that a second skateboard leaning on the TV stand? Okay, which f***ing nerd left the equation for calculating an aircraft's lift as their memorial note? Leave the clever word stuff to me. That sh just won't fly around here. And swing that bat as hard as you can into your nuts. Every hour on the hour. And every time you swing, yell Jumanji. I do not appreciate my friend's very specific kink being presented as a punishment in this scene. Also, are students just allowed to abuse their powers however they want with impunity? This guy, who may well deserve it, is going to be dealing with an absolutely mashed testicular region for the foreseeable future, and that's just okay with the faculty? These are f***ing teenagers at college, can you imagine how quickly the pranks would escalate? You f***ing own Twitter right now. The unwelcome memo Elon Musk received on October 27th, 2022 somehow makes it into the episode. Also, I look forward to a time when my great-grandkids watch this show for the retro vibes and ask me what the heck a Twitter is. I'll enjoy explaining how it eventually became X, which eventually became Xflix Book, which then became Warner Book Discovery Red Twit Para Prime Plus, before finally being called X again. I had to rescue Matchbox 20 from that nut job at Lollapalooza before my first national interview. Was the headline of your interview Moron Prevents Matchbox 20 Concert from being canceled? You're like, pretty woman without the uh, ass f***ing for money. Hmm. I don't remember that scene in Pretty Woman. And believe me, I've looked. If this photo shoot is for publicity, shouldn't they be showing off their superpowers? The only thing I'm getting from these shots is that they're young, attractive, and possibly smelling something strange. Because Luke uh, whispered something to me before he died. He said, uh, the dad has it. Well, why don't you start by searching your dad's clothes, car, or office? I'm sure Luke meant your dad has it literally, right? I mean, who'd use their dying words to share a cryptic clue instead of the literal thing they want to share? Wouldn't that just be the dumbest f***ing thing? I just don't understand how the most sane person that I have ever met. Confidently ranking the people in your life by level of sanity. Please bring the funk, not the junk. Sadly, your career in Hollywood will expose you to a plethora of junk, so there is no need to provide your own. As these two argue outside the School of Crime Fighting building about something I nearly skipped, I was instantly reminded of how inane it is that the school only has two departments, crime fighting or performing arts. Marie's already saved a life with her powers, so why not a school of medicine? Hell, considering how often people explode in this universe, why not a school of sanitation? But now that they're both gone, I go back to not existing. You're ranked number five. You're in the top 10. That's still a big deal, right? The people down in the 50s and 100s would love to have a word about your definition of not existing, but they're too busy being ignored. He didn't know what to do. He always did. He did not. He exploded. Unless a rather convincing impression of a supernova was step two of Luke's brilliant plan. This is what I imagine Jack Black has to do to make acting with Kevin Hart seem palatable by comparison. You all act like you're made of steel, but you're not. No one is. I mean, other than Iron Cast, right? Who is literally made out of steel and is someone she should know about. Well, I'm Greg. They're all wearing the same f***ing uniform with no name badges, so why did she even try to get it right? I get that he's got a great beard to show off, but he really should still have a mask on unless he wants spinal fluid in and around his mouth. And why would you? It's too salty. Don't ask me how I know. See, this is why passive-aggressive signage doesn't work. All the kids clearly assumed peeking was forbidden, but offensive graffiti was A-OK. -okay. Where is all Luke's stuff? They cleared it out. Who? F***ing if I know. So, your contribution to this conversation was to simply state the f***ing obvious, then? It smells like bleach in here. Why would they do that? 
Why wouldn't they do that? Has she never seen a show in the boys averse before? Bleach should be used on everything all the time. People should just walk into a room and assume it's had a body explode in it, an elongated d*** erupt on it, or vomit weaved into every carpet fiber. Hell, I bleach my laptop after every video. Why would you do that? <laughs> Why even include this line? Do you expect the audience to go, Oh, at least she meant well when she revealed him as deep secret for internet views? Luke's desk drawer was full of dildos. They're all gone too. So some security guard is not gonna shit straight for a week. Assuming the intolerance of an unnamed security guard you've never met. Security cameras melted. Expecting me to believe that any institution even vaguely vaught adjacent wouldn't immediately be replacing damaged security cameras the second they went down. Your dad has it. I think he hit something in here. I alluded to this earlier, but now I'm gonna really go off. Luke's brother's life is at stake here, and Luke has a vital clue in exposing what's happening to him. But instead of saying, I hid evidence in the region of your dad's statue, he goes with the your dad has it vague nonsense. Now maybe that makes sense if he knew he was being recorded or the message might be intercepted, but he whispered it into Andre's f***ing ear. No one else was hearing that sh and if you have to make it code, make it a code that you know he can crack. It is a total fluke that Andre figured this out at all. Also, how the f*** did Luke even get the phone inside the statue? Yes, he has the ability to melt metal, but unless he's a master smelter, that's going to leave behind some kind of unwelcome welding welt on Polarity's package. That is really Freudian. Kate would be my psychiatrist at TV Sins. Underneath that scumbag candy shell, there's a f***ing hero. Is that the thesis statement of this entire show? Fill it with unlikable characters that we'll eventually get a taste for. But am I going to wait for that scumbag shell to melt before casting judgment? That's the real qu- No, no I'm not. Actually, Haley, someone else was there too. Jordan Lee. I'm not saying that the makeup people are definitely the kind of people to use this information against Marie, but I am saying that she shouldn't be such a big blabbermouth in a public space. Also, what? They're not going to do her nails too? <laughs> sudden motivational best bud viscera that should have absolutely been eaten by a carry-on bird by now is sudden and motivational. Also, this right here is exactly why we need the aforementioned School of Sanitation. For some reason, the super secret and highly incriminating The Woods folder is just hanging out here in the main menu instead of in a hidden folder or, at the very least, in this folder marked private. Also, if you have private shit in your computer, don't mark it private. Who the f*** is that label for? It's not for your benefit because you know exactly what it is. The only thing labeling a private folder private is doing is advertising where your highly specific stash of she raw porn is kept to a nosy roommate or family member, for instance. Also, also, how is this computer organizing the folders? In each category, it makes no sense. It's not in alphabetical order or last opened. It's also not numerically ordered by location ID, file count, or storage. Initially, I thought Magtino's powers were manipulating metal and such, but based on the shenanigans with this finger scanner, he can, what, rewire and reprogram software and hardware sh too? How does that f***ing work? Wouldn't he also need some knowledge of hacking? Or is his true superpower literally hand-waving? Rather than magnetic manipulation, I'm willing to bet it's the superpower of creative editing, which allows Andre to not get caught here. Nobody who securities for a living sees this, and Andre can't know that would be the case, but decides to risk it anyway. Also, while we're on the topic of lax security, Andre sure is lucky that there isn't a single camera in and around Brink's office, isn't he? Don't bother with that shit. Just files in the computer. The entirety of Luke's room was cleaned and bleached, but for some reason they just hadn't got around to wiping Brink's office yet. The same Brink's office that has this super incriminating laptop of easily accessible private files. Jordan Lee was the real hero. I mean, that day they were, but they certainly weren't a hero the day before when they encouraged everyone to leave that dying lady that Andre dejugulated. No one here is a hero. Aww, skip. I appreciate the self-harm parallels at play here, but it is super hard to concentrate through this entire hole of vomit that was suddenly and non-consensually burned into my eyeball. Mm. Eyeball. <sighs> Oh, okay, I got this. Onto my eye. Onto my retina. Burn onto my retina. Come here. Oh, what a lovely moment. So glad Marie has someone to look out for. I'm certain this is a genuine moment of connection and... Oh, I see that stare. What subtlety and nuance. You almost had me there, you rascals. What's going on? Can I help you? Look, from a story standpoint, this janitor side helps show that these dudes are bad dudes and they're not to be f***. 
worked with. But from a common sense standpoint, this is dumb as hell. How is the janitor not on the payroll? How lazy is that? And how are you going to spin Ron's brutal death to his family, Vought? Oh yeah, sorry about Ron. There was an insane workplace accident with a really sharp mop that slit his throat execution style. This whole outfit is amateur hour. And who's going to clean up the blood? Not the fucking janitor, that's who. Hey, Greg will clean up later. Let's go. Ah, uh, yes, Greg the guard. Just when I thought smack my own balls and scream Jumanji was going to be the most unnecessary callback in the episode. Did you know suits have a wider range of hearing than us? How convenient. Has that been established before or is it just in this show? Now, before you quote episode and first at me, keep in mind that I don't really care and I'm not going to believe you. How the hell did Kate know where Andre was? She was supposed to be in bed, and even Andre didn't know where he was going and only ended up there because the guards conveniently showed up when he was going through Brink's laptop. I'm totally... Oh hey, you know what would really ratchet up the tension here? A cliffhanging seizure from an unlikable character. And even if I did like her, cliffhangers lose some of their gravity when you drop the first three episodes all at once and all I have to do is press skip credits to get a resolution. Bring back weekly appointment TV, you cowards. I miss Lost. Not only the immediate agony, but the knowledge that if you do not yield soon enough, there will be little left to identify you as a man. Something funny, Rufus? Greetings, my excellent friend. I'm here to help you with your history report. People come up to me all the time and say, you should be a model, or you look just like a model, or maybe you should try to be a man who models. Just got a shipment of the dopest dope I've ever smoked. Hands down, dopest dope I've ever smoked. Shit. That is so fetch. Gretchen, stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Open sesame. You could say, I have a magnetic personality. There's not going to be any gotchas. We won't mention your sister. Why did you say that name? The Prime Minister of Sweden visited Washington today, and my tiny little nipples went to France. Evan, read the copy, please. The copy's good, just read it. Hey, wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs>